Today on our 2015 Ford Escape, we are test fitting the Swagman Trailhead 4 Bike Rack, part number S63380. And as you can see, we do already have our bike on there. We're going to show you how we load up the bike and how it's secured, and then also how we connect our Swagman to the vehicle and a, little, a couple of the features about it. And as you can see here, we do have four straps that tie down the bike, three on the frame, and then one back here on the seat post. You're just going to pull those out and release. And to reconnect, you're just going to fit them back into those holes there. So just go ahead and release all these straps. There we go. And we'll take our bike off and set it off to the side. Now you do want to be aware with the inch and a quarter hitches that like we have on our vehicle now, you can only carry about two bikes on here, but you also want to check your owner's manual and make sure your vehicle can carry that weight on there. So we're just going to reconnect our straps just to keep them from getting dirty. Next we're going to do some measurements. Our first is ground clearance here. From the ground to our lowest point, that's going to be about 16 inches there. Our closest point to the vehicle is going to be this little pin down here. It's about 6 inches there. And overall, we're adding about 36 inches to the back of the vehicle. Now this, this carrier does have a store position. To put it in that stow position, we're just going to pull this little U-clip right here, pull the pin out, and you may have to mess around with the arms a little bit to get that pin out. Arms drop down. They don't go all the way flat against the pole. That's all right. That's how it was made to do. We'll reinsert this pin. And again, you might have to wiggle the arms a little bit just so the holes line up exact. Take the clip and clip it back over there. Now, the only distance that's really changed is our overall distance, so we'll just remeasure that. It's going to be about 19 inches now that it's in the stow position. Now, the other nice thing about this is it does have a tilt away feature. If we come down here to this clip and pin, just going to move that out of the way. We're going to loosen this screw right here and turn this plate so it's vertical so that doesn't interfere with these plates here. We're just going to drop it down. That will give us access into our back hatch here so we can get any other items we need out of our vehicle there without having a problem of our carrier getting in the way. Close that hatch back up. Now to put it back in the store position, we're just going to lift up on the carrier, align the holes again down here. Repin it. Now we're going to turn this plate horizontal and just tighten the screw here. As you can see, I mentioned before, it is an inch and a quarter hitch. We do have an adapter that comes with the Swagman, so you can use it on two, uh, two inch hitches. And it also comes with an anti-rattle bolt there that'll keep your bike rack from shaking while you're driving down the road. All right, now that you've seen our Swagman Trailhead 4 bike rack on our 2015 Ford Escape, let's see how it does on the test track. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the Solemn. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.